Yeah, you shot me through the heart Casting dice and roulettes The game was set right from the start I don't wanna go, I don't wanna know I don't want it anymore I don't wanna go, don't wanna know But I keep coming back for more Crash it down and in the Sebastian, welcome to New Flow Media. For anyone who isn't aware, this is Liftoff. Uh, they just released a new experimental version, and I wanted to check it out. Uh, so far, right off the bat here, it doesn't really seem different at all. I'm not noticing any differences. Everything looks... No, don't quit. <laughs> Everything looks pretty identical to the normal version of the game, but I do know that they added a new map. And I definitely wanted to check that out. Um, this is all the same. Yeah, Saltar. Sol sur searcher? I don't know what that is supposed to be. We're just going to go no track. Um, go with my DJI FPV. For anyone that doesn't know, I fly the DJI FPV um, as one of my main FPV drones. So it's really nice to be able to get into lift off here and actually be able to practice with the DJI FPV. supposed to be like a huge map as far as I know. Ooh, they got like a nice little town over here. definitely very very wide open I feel like they're trying to compete with some of the other simulators that are they just have significantly more space to run around like you go into drone racing league like one of their main maps like the city skyline and stuff you just explore that for ages 
go all the way up the mountains here. Let's try. Let's see when it cuts me off. Is this supposed to be as big as all of the maps combined? Bigger? Bigger than all the maps combined. Oh wow, yeah. You can go all the way up here just to do mountain dives. That would be awesome. Still going. Oh, yeah. Well, they've got like a whole range here. I wonder how far you can go. Oh, there we go. There's the no fly. Alright. I don't get to do anything like this in real life because I actually follow the laws. So I like to be able to see my drone have someone see it for me. So I'll never get to do anything like this. I like to follow the ridge line. I saw in like Get a good look, look at the, the whole map here. Nice. Is it beeping at me? Oh, I got some Morse code. Alright, who wants to uh, figure out what this says? <laughs> figure out what the Morse code says. Oh, there is lava, okay. That's what I saw on the, uh, the thumbnail for the update here. I don't know if any of you guys have checked this out or not. This is a really cool map. We're practicing, like, long range FPV though, but isn't really a thing you can do in the U.S. Legally, at least. Huh. So I got like the... Oh, I'm getting a little... It's a little stuttery. A little stuttery. Also, I think what would be cool, which I don't think is going to be a thing in the simulator, but when you fly over this, the heat would obviously, in real life, really affect your drone flight capabilities. So I think if they could integrate that in to make it so like when you fly over this, you lose a little grip, because you wouldn't really be able to fly over this as well with this drone, I don't think. You'd probably want a 7 inch, maybe. I've never flown over lava, so I can't really say. This is pretty cool, though. They got like little parts like falling out. So you can just like imagine being able to do this. With an actual drone. Oh, that'd be sick. Some 
this flow there. We got a little, little like distortion there. All right, we got, we got, we got test. We got test. What happens? I land on. Oh. <laughs> That's what happens. Got it. There's the lake here. What's this? The monolith structures. Whatever these are. this map. This is definitely something Liftoff was missing. But this isn't even the main game yet. This is just a, a, a beta technically right now. So you have to launch a beta version of the game. Which might be why it's stuttery. I'm not sure. Or it could be because I'm recording. That could also have an effect on it, I suppose. Alright, let's see what else this, this map has here. So a road going through. I wonder if this is supposed to be like uh, Iceland. This seems like Iceland. Just this like barren landscape. Oh, that's no fly. That's something I really um, wish some of these simulators were, were better at. It was just giving you... And I know they're trying to make it more like a real-world situation where um, you don't have boundaries, and so they're just trying to make it op look open, and you have to determine the boundaries. But, you know, it's a simulator, like, give me at least an idea of where the boundary is somehow, you know? Give me a wall or something. Or if I go past that. You know, just be a marker on the ground, you know? Oh, I thought the road was cracked there. It's the shadow of the... <laughs> it's the shadow of the tower here. Factory setting here, that's kind of nice actually. Factory. Oh, Spencer. <laughs> I was so focused on these. Uh... Let's 
those boxes there that I didn't even notice the vents. I like the open, openness of it, but at least for, for lift off, this is very open. I think their slipstream update was a little bit better. So I'm not totally sure why they didn't just add this as a map, and this is in the beta version, but maybe it's just because of the size of it, and they weren't sure how the size would be handled. But, I don't know, it seems to play fine. I think the lava is the coolest part. I kinda wish with the lava though, that they didn't just put it like down in the bottom of the, this bowl here, and they had it like actually, you know, as a volcano top. I feel like that would be nicer for just, you know, flying around a volcano as opposed to just this flat, like a little mound, tiny mound of lava with a little, little waterfall. Whereas if it was like coming down this mountain over here or something, like just spewing out right there and just Boom, going down there. And if it like flowed out over here, because I mean, I, I, I just think that would be a little bit of an improvement. It's still cool. Still like it. We've got some lava in an FPV simulator now. I think this is the first sim to put lava. So it's got that going for it. There's a little hole there. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, 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 wait. What's this? I do like that I get to play around with dives at a little bit larger scale though. Cause I feel like that's that's something any FPV pilot enjoys doing is just bombing it down a hillside. So they took that into account.
think maybe if they added like options to spawns or spots just so you could like if you wanted to practice your your dives like that like you could just go to the top of the mountain otherwise let's just sit here and full throttle and get to the top you know just take your time Almost there. Very close. Almost there. And cool, now we can practice. <laughs> All little tweaks. Morse code. Love the ability to do mountain dives now. I do really enjoy the lava. Wish it was a little bit more of a volcano than that the, the flat mountain lava, like I said, but I think it's pretty cool. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching, and until next time. Press it down and